Hello, Virginia Beauties. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. If you like videos like this one, or you like my other videos, and you haven't yet subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do so right now. And while you add that, hit that alert notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you won't miss another upload. If you've seen the title of this video, this is my long overdue beauty room slash bedroom update. Let me give you a backstory really quick. I did a small room tour about two years ago. I moved here about a year ago and ever since then I've been trying to get my room together. Now it's not fully together how I want it to be, but I just wanted to get this video out because if I didn't do it now, I probably wouldn't do it. So you guys are gonna see the room, how it looks as it is, and I will probably go in the future and do updates in the room, but as of right now, it's gonna be what it is. If you don't like videos like this, you might wanna click off this video and check one of my other videos out. This is my space, my personal space, my little tranquility, where I go and I, you know, relax and unwind from the children, from the husband, from the animals, from just life. I just like to, you know, give me some me time. Before we go ahead and enter the room, let me give you my disclaimer. I am not bragging. This is stuff that I accumulated over a course of a couple years. I wanna show you a little bit of what you see before you enter our room. So right now I'm standing in my like foyer area. So I put like a little seating area here and this used to have decorations up here. And now it houses stuff for my product reviews that I have to get to that I cannot fit in my closet because my wig closet or product review closet is overflowing as of this point. So I needed more space. Let's go ahead and check out the bedroom, shall we? Tell me this style is terrific. It is kind of different, but let's get specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. You say it when you see me then. Okay, so starting from the door, I'm gonna back up just so you can guys can get an overview of everything. I'm gonna try to get as much of the filming in as possible before it gets dark. We have this little makeshift makeup storage that I made using a lac shelf, some wheels, and some storage from container store. We have my lamp right here, which is extendable. We have some makeup book, one by Bobby Brown, and the other two are by Kevin O'Quan, so I have face for it. And I believe making faces. Just above that, my paintings that I made. And above that, I have some shoes on a lac shelf. And getting over to this corner, we have my shoes on the back of the door. These are my more higher end shoes, so I keep them here on the door just to protect them. That's why they have plastics on them. And over here we have some lac shelves. I chose to use the lac shelf option because I couldn't fit another lac shelf system there. So I used the lac shelf and then I made them my own by adding some pink to them. Starting from the bottom, we have my favorite product, which is Victoria's Secret, and one of these plaques that I had from my previous room tours, which says, make the rest of your life the best of your life. And right behind there, I have the Alice in Wonderland by Urban Decay looking glass. And then behind this one right here, I have some Mac Mischief Minx and Sassy Princess. Above that, I have my Juvia's Place collection. And I tried to fit as much of them as I could in here, but some of them didn't fit, so I put two up here. And then right in here, we just have some Inglot, Tarte, Lorac. Above that, some palettes. One of these I reviewed. Go ahead and check that out. And this is the 24 Carat by Revolution London, I believe. I, you buy it at Ulta, or at least that's where I brought my from. Some of my Tour Secret products, my diary. Some scrunchies behind there. Above that shelf, I just have more Victoria's Secret stuff. Some bags and some body wash, lotion, etc. Above that, this is my DIY mannequin wearing my DIY wig that I made in the previous video. Well, I didn't make it in the previous video, but I did a review on it. What I pretty much did was spray paint this mannequin in rose gold. I do love that one. So right here we have my painting I purchased at Burlington, and it says my weapons of choice. 
So right here we got some makeup palettes that I picked up at iMatch this year and this is by Rude Cosmetics. They are supposed to be like storybooks and then we have my flawless makeup brush holder that I picked up at Five Below. A mirror, some Urban Decay and these are actual drawers and these knobs I DIY'd. So these actually come out as you can see. And it's actually upside down. I chose to do it this way so I can put some storage up here. So here is my mirror that I also DIY'd by Impressions Vanity, which is where I use to get ready for each and every video. Now I did a review on this, so if you want to see that in-depth review, go ahead and click over and check that video out. Over here we have some NYX lipsticks and lippies and uh, diamond throws. Some MAC, some makeup brushes I use every day. And a place card with my business cards on it. It's a perfume tray and my glass vanity table. And I have a plexiglass glass on top of that glass. And then you have my drawers which is really nothing in them right now. But I did customize and put these knobs on. What I have stored below which is my garbage can and some of my nail polishes. And I have these rises on my vanity table so it can be lifted up. This is my DIY chair. This chair was completely white that I purchased from eBay. And it came with a round base and I changed it out and used a base from my old vanity chair. And then I painted it pink with sparkles. And I added a little rhinestones on it buttons. Panning over to the left, you'll see a collection of my ma empty makeup bags. Also, you'll see a makeup train case that I got from Ulta. And then my jewelry box filled with my jewelry. A lot of my jewelry I keep in here. And then my cell phone charger slash Apple Watch charger. I have this lash box and I keep my velour lash glues in here and along with my tweezers. And if you open them, you can store your lashes here. So it has three of these drawers where you can store your lashes in. As you pin up, you'll see my Violet Voss palettes, my limited edition gems palette from Sephora, which I absolutely love. My Violet Voss Pro Drench Metal and my Holy Grail, which is my Holy Grail. And like a boss. You'll see a lot of my Clinique products along with my Guard Dogs, Hello Pink. You'll see my favorite perfume by Chanel. And then you see my selfie, well, Zuri selfie wig on my other mannequin. Now I haven't yet DIY that one, but that was what the other one originally looked like. I will be DIYing that one as well. My TV, my love sign, that's also a picture holder. And as you scroll down, you will see my collection of ColourPop concealers, which I absolutely love. Some of my ColourPop products here as well. And just some random stuff in the top drawer. And I'll have some of my lashes that I, I use for the past couple weeks. And then as you scroll over, you'll see a bunch of my Victoria's Secret lipsticks and lippies, which I store here. I know I can't get enough. And then my NYX inside of my lipstick envelope container. Absolutely love this. And then we have one of many of my lash drawers, which obviously you can see I'm Coco crazy. And behind that, we just have some more eyelash glue. See another guard dog, some body jewelry items, like belly rings, tongue rings, whatever. First cube, I have all my Desio Lint contact lens products. I have my crayon case products along with ColourPop. And then I have all of my airbrush products in these acrylic drawers here. As you pan up, you will see a lot of my favorite lipsticks and lip glosses on display in liquid lipsticks. Dose of Color, Violet Voss, Lime Crime, NYX, Cargo, YSL, OCC, which is Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. You also see my Too Faced. We have this Benefit Cosmetics ball with a different products inside of that. Some more brushes that's inside of this closed enclosed container. Then we have some MAC and some more Lime Crime. My favorite Jonathan Hill palette, which is one of them. I put this one away because it's white, as you see, and we don't want to get that dirty. If you're wondering where the heck did all my Victoria's Secret stuff go to, well, they're here. Here is all of my body sprays and some tanning sprays. Here, I just have clothes, and this one and the two grays just have clothes. Over here is where I store all of my Victoria's Secret lotions. Down below is where I store all of my, well, some of my hair care products. 
We have this gray lac shelf and these two drawers are by Ikea is the Alex collection. And below that we have the collapse system. I have two systems here. I have this eight and then over here we have the four. So I just put them together because I just wanted a six by six. That's what I wanted. So that's why I put both of them together. And as we get over to the side, we're gonna have my full of lipstick courage because I've got so much courage, you guys. I absolutely adore this. I also picked this up at Burlington. I thought it was super cool and it was inexpensive. I think I believe I paid less than $15, which I absolutely love. I love me some Burlington. And then I have my lipstick carousel by Zara. And then I got my homegirl, my ride or die chick, my beats. You know, I love pink. And then we have my homegirl. It was an honor to purchase this makeup. I really loved it. I vouched for I signed a petition for this. No other than in Aaliyah. Collaboration with MAC, which I absolutely love. And just her display. Then below her, we have Nicki Minaj and the MAC lipstick as well. Below that, we have Jeremy Scott. Collaboration with MAC. And below that, we have my Sigma brush cleaner and my NYX train case. So I picked this glass display up at Ikea. A lot of these products in here pretty much is basically Ikea. All my furniture in here is pretty much Ikea with the exception of acrylic shelves, which I got from Amazon. And over here we have acrylic shelf, which stores some of my other products. As you can see, I have a Bobbi Brown makeup menu. I have some Sigma, I have some more brushes, my Sigma tower, some, some decorative flowers my original Lulumia makeup brush cleaner. We have some more morph brushes, storage of my sponges, my beauty blenders. Then below that we have an artisan brush, my microcores cell phone charger or whatever charger you want it for. And then we have my candy. Yes, who doesn't have candy in their room? And then it's not just candy, it's blingy candy. So we got the sugar factory candy. And then we have some more brushes and storage, some empty storage here. My Bose radio, my train cases along with my train briefcase for makeup and hairstyling. We have some more stuff on display, which is more Victoria's Secret. Some of my favorite perfumes that I keep on display, I rarely use. And then a bunch of gift for purchase items and another mannequin which the Unis wig is on. And I made and my Nicki Minaj hat. So we make our way up to the window. And we have some more body sprays, body products by Victoria's Secret. Now to my home girl. She's one in a million, literally. Aaliyah posted I got with my Aaliyah purchase. And then we had this DIY lamp that I created. And I blinked it out. I always blink out everything. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If you don't like bling, I don't know what to tell you. Bling is life for me. And then we have this. I have a picture right there of me, my son, and my husband. Perfume holder, which I created, and it's holding my Victoria's Secret perfume. By DIY Tiger, and I pinked out the eyes with some Swarovski and Crystal Pink diamonds. And then I put some glitter all over this thing. I don't know if you can, if it's picking it up, but I glittered her out. Her name is Sheba. Yes, say hi, Sheba. And over here, we have some more body products by Pink, which is Victoria's Secret. Behind that, we have a post-it board with my business cards on it. You have some more DIY projects that I did. These were picture frames slash jewelry holders. They do have jewelry this time, people. One had it before, but they do have jewelry in them. And as you pan down here, you will see a train case with some of my nail product and nail polishes and whatnot. I do have three of these. I actually have two bigger ones than this one. And then you see my wig stand holder or whatever tripod right there. And then as you pan up, yay, we finally, I know you were like, where does your husband sleep in here? Like if this is your bedroom, yeah. This is my husband's section. I know it got a little smaller than the last time. I think it got a little bigger actually. I gave him too much space maybe. This is his section. Happy as long as he has his colognes and he has his man cave anyways that I created for him. So you know it's lit. Now say hello to my little chair and my uh, throw pillows that I store over here. I also DIY my huge blank central AC unit that is so huge and ugly. It's about like a foot long. I feel like it's like two feet long in width. I thought it was so ugly so I DIY that and I just covered it with contact paint. Now it looks gorgeous and glamorous. As we come over here, we have some of my collection of my microcores bags which I store on top. You've already seen this before. This is my backdrop for many of my videos. And then we have this 
DIY project that I showed you. You have my movable makeup vanity slash storage. And these obviously have drawers. Then I have my favorite little carpet right here, which a little bling bling. This carousel that I picked up at Michael's, which I saw some of my palettes in. I have some more Urban Decay, my Makeup Forever palette, and some other stuff that I had DIY'd. And then you have some stuff on the side, stay fab guys. And then we have some candles. I have my little bench right here, which I sit down sometimes I do my reviews. And then obviously my mirror. And then as we pan up, you will see one of my favorite parts of this room, which is my DIY chandelier I did. Like this was super affordable guys. And I pretty much got this plane. I bought the jewels and I did that damn thing. And as you can see, the casing around at the top, I customized that completely. I'll insert photos of how it looked. It was completely plain. I blinged it out, custom painted it, and then I stuck it up there. My new apartment where I'm living at now, they don't come equipped with ceiling lights. So they want you to use lamps. So I was like, hell no, because I can't do that. I need light. Let there be light. So I just went ahead and brought myself a chandelier, hooked it up. It's actually a plug-in, which I ran the wire along the wall and down to the bottom. And it has a switch, which it turns on and off at the front of the door. And then you see on the wall, I have some wall decorations. Squares from Ikea, which I painted one of them. And the other ones came black and white. So here we have another corner which you guys are pretty much, I know you guys are familiar with. This has been a backdrop for a lot of my videos. It's another one of my favorite sections because it's pink and it's Victoria's Secret and it's gorgeous. So up here we have some more Victoria's Secret stuff, perfumes, makeup bags, gift of purchase stuff, and this huge bag right here. And then some more DIY projects I have back there from my first video if you remember and some more parts and flowers, things like that. Now as we get down here, the first cube we have Victoria's Secret hat box with perfumes in it, some shoes, some perfume. We have some Too Faced, some more perfume, some earrings, some jewelry necklaces and bracelets back there. Then we have this and it's another DIY product. I put a bow and some ribbon around this and I purchased that I believe at Michael. And I just threw some return secrets, some Christmas balls and lights I got from Target in there. And we got some Yonsei. Okay, so right here we have some more Victoria's Secret stuff. Obviously you guys know I love Victoria's Secret. Then we have some drawers, which I have more lashes, which I need to organize. Rant, rant, rant. Then I have some more Victoria's Secret in here, which I have to finish up. Let's get on some of my perfume collection, which we have some of my perfume, and I have it on some glass from Ikea, and some of my favorite, which is Michael Kors. And then we have some Marc Jacob, and some more Yonce. And then I have a small bottle of Versace. And then we have more of my nail products in here. Yes, I know, the organized and some more nail products in here. They discontinue these drawers, well this drawer as well from Ikea and also bling this out. Bling bling on each side. Right here, if you guys remember from my first video, I store my brush cleaning supplies. This is an Alex drawer. I went ahead and DIY'd it because I just wanted to be different. This stores a lot of my sprays. I'm not going in detail. Eye care, like mascaras, liners are stored here. Pencils, eyeshadow cards. And we have some loose pigments here from Shaney and NYX. Some of my lip stuff from random companies, a bunch of drug lipsticks in here. And then we have some of my sample drawer with some of my facial products, masks and stuff like that. And here is my supply drawer where I use for clients. A bunch of like lip stuff and whatever I need for my clients. And here is my sample drawer. Yeah, I know it's overflowing. And we're gonna move over to the gray alley drawer, which I did not customize. Just here we're gonna have all my foundations, eyeshadows, more foundation, and then right here we have more eyeshadows by a bunch of different companies. 
Two Face, Heartbeat, Smashbox, The Rock, Mac, Urban Decay, Cargo. And then we have more hair, more knits. We got an elf and a bunch of other stuff. I have some wax pebbles that I use for waxing, hard wax. Then we have Manny and Way. We have some Sedona lace, more shiny products. And then my labeler right here. So I did customize both of my Alex drawers. As you can see, let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you like them. The contact paper I used was super affordable. So up here we have all of my foundations and highlighters all in here. And then we have my concealer drawer. Then we have some more stuff in here. So these are my remotes. I have a Z palette, some garbage bags. And here I have a bunch of cords. My calligraphy pad, you know, who doesn't like penmanship. And then right here we have some more stuff. Here we have some more product and some other of these. We're gonna throw them down. We got some more empty stuff. Our waxing stuff in here. Then we have my makeup face. All right, so now it's on to the closet. As you can see, it says keep calm and carry on. On the door, you will see my traveling neck pillow by Victoria's Secret. And here we have my closet. Now we have some of my sneaker collection here on the door. The ones I wear often. So we're gonna make our way in and we're gonna start from inside the closet. We have random items up here. We have my glasses. This is actually a jewelry holder, but I have my glasses here. And then we have my mirror, some more jewelry. My umbrellas by Victoria's Secret. My Michael Kors fanny pack, I guess you would call it. My mirror. And then below that we have my flowers, my glittered out flower pot and my glittered out flowers, my rug panning over and then my blingy rod that I blinged out as well. So I'm gonna start from the bottom, work my way up. These are my old dresses that you see in my first video. Yes, they were black. I DIY these as well. And I added the bling to the knob and my Victoria's Secrets pack. So as you come in, you see more storage items, which I use these perfume trays and put my glasses and jewelry upon. I also added these were actually labels brought to Ikea. These were little circle labels for gifts and I put them onto the wall. Yes, I did. And then my makeup chain we have back here. We have my belt, some of my belts from Michael Kors. Over here, I built this as well and I added a puck light in here because I needed more light. I made this, this makeshift closet using an Ikea collapse shelving system. Originally, it was a rod here, as you can see, but it didn't work for me. So I took it off and I made my own closet. And I hung up my clothes, I have two rows. You see down here, I also added the wallpaper to make it a little more jazzy. I also have my robes hanging up here from Victoria's Secret. I have a couple of those. And then, then I have my little diamond hook. And up here, I have my ceiling that I also created. And I use puck lights I purchased off Amazon along with some Dollar Tree items. These are some Dollar Tree bowls that I cut holes into to make it look recessed. So recessed lighting. My gold shoes, gladiator shoes. Some of my boots, my Tims. Here are my storage bins with my clothes. That white bin stores more hair. And then we have my North Face fanny pack and my ludicrous soul headphones. Now I did custom make these knobs by hand with glitter. So the lighting can cut on and off using this remote. It's the little puck light as well runs by remote. So the lighting also changes colors. So that is it for my closet. So we are back to the beginning, which is a door. So that is pretty much my small bedroom slash beauty room tour. Oh wait, I forgot. Where's the bed, right? <sighs> Silly me. Let me show you where that is. Like I said before, this is a removable storage and this is my backdrop. Don't you wanna know what's behind my backdrop? Who wants to know what's behind door number one? I do. So here is my bed 
And I know you wonder, how do you sleep on your bed if it's up there, right? So this is actually gonna be moved. This comes to the side. So this comes down. My bench is moved to the side. So this gets moved to the side. And we have this now. Before I pull this down, I did go ahead and custom make this frame because this room was pretty small. Like, I mean, this room was pretty small. It's actually smaller than my other room. Despite the fact that I have so much stuff in here, it looks like I have more stuff. This is actually small, so I had to come up with an idea that would work for me and could benefit me so I can have the best of both worlds. Without further ado, let's get into this bed, shall we? So I did go ahead and make these curtains. I originally had doors but I decided to go with the curtains because it would work as a backup as well. So let's open up this bed, shall we? So here is my wall bed, and this is where I sleep. So when I'm not, you know, filming or doing my beauty stuff, I pull my bed down at night like so, and boom. So here we are. And I know you all remember these eyes. These are the exact same eyes from my last room tour, my Audrey Hepburn eyes. It wouldn't be my room without my Audrey Hepburn eyes. But as usual, what did I do? Bling it out. So I wanted to be unique. I wanted to be different again. And I chose to bling out my eyes. Well, I gave her some contact. This is my vision mirror. Some people have vision boards. I have my vision mirror. And it says, be happy, be true, be unique, be yourself, be honest, be real, be humble. Don't be like the rest of them, darling, by Coco Chanel. Ability is what you're capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do and attitude determines how well you do it. Those are the words I like to live by. If this wasn't enough, I also installed these lights. Now, you know, if you wanna get a little saucy saucy, and you want a little romance, we could just, you know, throw some red up in there. Awesome green. Awesome blue. Hell, this is just strobing on them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lights so you can see what it looks like at night. The headboard I also purchased separately and I put together and I put it up. You don't see many of these kind of beds built with these kind of headboards. I had to be unique and you know, do what I had to do. I love to think outside the box, so I put a headboard. I know you guys think, why did you decide to do a wall bed? I decided to do a wall bed because in the last place it was pretty tight and I was uncomfortable with that fact that I wanted more space. So I decided to make a wall bed and I'm so glad I did. I wish I had thought about it in my last place because for the most part, I'm not in here sleeping all day. So it serves its purpose. I roll it down at night, I sleep on it, I roll it back up and then I have all the space that I need that I want to enjoy. And it has all of my stuff, which I am so happy about. I'm so in love with so that is the real reason why I decided to do a wall bed and my husband thought it was a great idea as well I decided to build it because I couldn't find one that I actually like and I like to be unique with my stuff so I decided to build one to my like it originally had doors but the doors were too difficult and because I have the out drawers here and I have some stuff sore on the opposite side it wasn't working for me so I decided to go ahead and put curtains and then that serves a dual purpose because now I can use them as backdrops especially since because it's a dual rod so I can twist two different curtains on one rod. So as you can see, as looking around my room, this is a multi-purpose functioning space for me. And it works for me. It may not work for you guys, but it definitely works for me. And I am in love with everything. Now, I did say I will be tweaking other things or changing things around. I'm 90% done. I just want to get a video out and show you guys and let you guys see how I'm living. So that concludes my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And you know, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye.